Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I take cars that are gas and make them electric. For this week's video, back to normal. And we got the Frontier. I've been driving it the last couple weeks, trying to do some test driving and making sure it's all good to go. You can see we got license plates for it. We're on the paper tags right now, but the license plates are in the mail. Dave chose to go for the cool EV, the Colorado EV license plates. So we're gonna get those on there. Uh, Dave was also able to get insurance for it. And he's just using the national uh, coverage versus the local office that he had been using. So it's the same company, just under the national uh, company, and he's got an agreed upon value coverage. So basically he's, he's set no matter what happens to the truck. So hopefully we'll just be driving it for years to come. So it's been super fun to drive. Um, I've been put in maybe 50 miles on it and not very many, but just kind of feeling it out. I found a couple little issues that we need to address some bugs and um, some problems with the truck so we'll get those so we'll get those addressed um, otherwise it's just it's amazing I uh, it can drive in fourth gear uh, it can even it can drive in fifth but fourth gear is what I use on the highway third gear you know higher speed city streets second gear I use for like slower speeds in the neighborhoods and stuff um it's just like so punchy and responsive and then i've even been driving it a little bit in first gear uh which is just absolutely ridiculous to to get that immediate acceleration so the nissan's been doing awesome um just we have a few things to finish up the carpet on the interior some of those bugs i talked about and i just want to put some miles on it like maybe uh 200 or 300 miles maybe a couple more just to make sure that it's you know good to go and i want to use some public chargers and things like that before i let dave take it because i don't want something to happen you know right when he gets it and then we got to bring it back here anyway and he's stranded or whatever so anyway in other news i got the electric you guys probably remember this car from the beginning of the channel this is the 1983 um electric that's unique mobility uh this car is how i started the channel restoring this vehicle so I just got it back from the paint booth. Here's some uh, B-roll that I'll show of it out in the sun because it just looks amazing. But you can see I got the two-tone, the original uh, metallic brown on top with the uh, darker metallic brown on the bottom. And um, I need to clean it up. It's super dusty from the paint shop, but uh, we got the motor. Remember, we replaced the motor with a brand new motor. The next step on the list is the interior. You can see the dashboard. We need to recover the dashboard and replace these vents. We're gonna do the carpet, the headliner, the seats. We're gonna do everything in this car. It's gonna be like brand new. And I even have a windshield to put in it. So uh, mechanically, it's good to go. Paint and bodywork, it's good to go. You can see this paint is just amazing. Um, way better than ever was new. They were telling me at the fiberglass shop that I had this done at, CF Meyer, that um, when this car was sold new, it probably had all those cracks in the pitting that we had seen um, when I had the car. So the interior, the, uh, it looks like crap, you can see. And if you're new to the channel, you probably didn't see the car before, but just imagine the exterior looking as crappy as the interior. And that's how this car came to me. So paint done boom mechanics done boom next thing we're doing is we're working on the battery so this is the battery sled uh this is the tray that scoots all the way up in there you can see eight feet is how deep that tunnel is so the transmission tunnel you can see or i guess <laughs> the battery tunnel not the transmission tunnel um this whole sled and that frame underneath the yellow frame or trolley that actually came with the car when you bought it because you needed it to pull the batteries out to service them. Remember, when this car was new, all of the batteries weighed a thousand pounds. There was 16 lead acid six volt batteries in the sled, four in each pocket. And so this thing weighed literally over a thousand pounds and you needed this winch to crank it out. And uh, there's a handle that would go in there you crank it with. And there's a cable that you can pull the battery box with. So this is the technology in the late 70s, the early 80s for EVs, because uh, you needed to maintain those lead acid batteries. So now lithium batteries are being put in. These modules that I've got that I'm installing are from a Hyundai Ionic 5, uh, a 2023 model. This car was practically new. It only had 150 miles on the car and it was wrecked or uh, had damage or something. And it was a total write-off. So I've got the batteries. They've got hardly any charge cycles on them. They're like new. I've got 10. I believe in the Ionic, there's 30 modules. 
Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I've got 10 and basically each module is paralleled with its pair. So there's basically a string of five of these modules, which gives me a total voltage of 125 volts. Each module is 25 volts and the total capacity is about 24 kilowatt hours. So that should be a super good match for this car. Um, I was thinking it would give me 100 miles of range, but my buddy Declan, who has a couple of these cars, he thinks that it's gonna give me less range because the, effic the efficiency of the electric is just not up there. It's a pretty inefficient car. Um, just the, the basic analog design of it, I guess. So anyway, these batteries are brand new, ready to go in. We're wiring up the BMS, so there's, uh, it's basically a 30S or a 30 cell setup. Um, so I've got a BMS here. This is a Dolly BMS. Um, I guess it's kind of like a mid-grade Chinesium. Um, it should do the trick. Uh, I got a, it seems to be very high quality. This is a 500 amp model and I needed a 500 amp BMS, not because the motor can pull 500 amps, but because of the regen. So the electric first production EV with regenerative braking, you know, that's the catch phrase, uh, can put out up to 400 amps under regen. And then under acceleration, it can pull probably only about 250 amps under max acceleration. So it can regen much more than it can pull under acceleration. The Dolly BMS is opposite. It can uh, provide more current than it can receive. So with this 500 amp BMS, we have a higher input charging rate. So long story short is this is a perfect match for the car. It should be plenty big enough. It's got a nice big heat sink on there. It should never get hot. Remember the car only has 30 horsepower, very small amount of power for these uh, out of the Hyundai Ionic, which has much more power. And so anyway, I'm wiring up the BMS. I'm about exactly halfway through. I still have a couple more uh, modules to wire in, but most of them are, are wired. You can see I have the pigtails. So these are the BMS wires and basically just paralleled. So one plugs in there, one plugs in there, and then that will parallel all of the different cells. There's six cells in each module, so it'll parallel all of them. So you can see my plug here, my plugs are here, here, and then here. There's uh, on each battery, there's one plug on the front, one on the back. So that's just how the Hyundai modules are. So we're putting this in, you can see the uh, heavy gauge cable I'm using. Uh, this is the fuse, high voltage, and this is on the back of it. So if the fuse blows, you just can access it through the rear hatch. You don't have to pull the whole thing out. And then we follow the positive all the way back to the plug. So that is the Electrex battery. Really excited once we put this in. Um, then the Electrex drivable again. Um, we don't have a windshield, but other than that, it's perfectly drivable. So that about wraps it up for the video this week. Um, you can come see the Electric at Electrify Expo this year in Denver. I'm gonna have the Electric there on display alongside Declan, who's gonna have his two Electrics there. And also the same weekend is State of Charge, so be sure to attend, it's gonna be sweet. The same ticket gets you into both events. So come check us out. I'm gonna have the Frontier and my Electric Land Cruiser there at State of Charge. Two events, the same ticket gets you into both events, Electrify Expo and State of Charge. So come check it out in July, Denver, Colorado. So that about does it. Thanks again for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. The Electrek is back. I told you I was working on something special for the Electrek. It's always been here, it's not a gone away. So we're gonna get back to work on the Electrek and one of these days we'll be driving it up and around town. Thanks for watching. Wheels, that's actually 